All right, so the Dreamer NX, dashboard Dreamer NX printer, the LCD screen's been acting up, so it's wouldn't come on correctly. Now it looks like it's completely flaked out on the air. So I did start up correctly this time, but you can see, you can still see it, and the touch screen still works. I can move the face up and down, but the center of the screen is all wacky. So I'm probably going to put in a support call, but they're going to tell me to connect and then disconnect the screen to see if there's a bad connection or something, so I'm going to try that first. Okay, so it's just a bunch of pins. I'm going to stick them back in. This is really tricky. Not easy to do at all. I need to get it back in there. Why am I working on getting it back in there? Alright, I got it back in finally. I had to put one corner in. This blue tape, the blue area is kind of a little bit stiff, but it's still not very great. Put one corner in, then I use these uh, um, small pliers to grab the other side and push it in. So it's back in there. I'll squish it back down on the little tape that it's got there. Back in the front there. Try plugging it in and see see if it looks any better. Now here's hoping it works better. It doesn't look any better. So got a big black thing in the middle. I think the screen itself is failing. So again, it's still work. Oops. <laughs> I didn't screw it back down. Still works. Remove the up in there, but the center of the screen is black. All right, well, let's try let's try turning it off. I guess we can try reconnecting it from the motherboard. Maybe that'll make a difference. So we'll screw the back back in. This will be it. that'll be it for this side the outside. All right, to access the motherboard, we got to flip it on its back. And there's six screws, one, two, three, four, five, six. I just have one left. This two and a half millimeter hex, hex bolt. This cable off. So the ribbon cable, where does it go? Oh, right over here. Looks like it's got the same goofy connector, which is annoying, so. I'm gonna try to, uh, the same goofy ribbon connector, just a little stiff blue plastic thing. So I'm gonna try to just take it out part way and stick it back in. I'm not gonna try to take it all the way out because it's too hard to get back in, so. Then we'll turn it back on and see what happens. All right, we got the bottom of the printer back on, all buttoned up. I'm going to try it again here. Yeah, it's still got a big black thing in the middle. So the screen is failing, so we need to put in a... Again, I can still use it, but I know where to push. pretty much. The center of the screen is failing, so take a photo and uh, send it in for, uh, I guess I'll get a new screen, hopefully. It's only a few months old, so it should, should, should be under warranty. Uh, pick up this video again when I get the screen and reinstall reinsta the new one. Alright, so touchscreen display is kaput, but put in a uh, a trouble ticket with uh, Flash Forge and they 
quickly sent me out, as quickly as you can from China anyway, sent me out a new one. Took about a week to get here, so it's a new cable. I'm not going to use that unless I need to. And it's got the new touch screen display. It's got some fingerprints on it, since maybe someone was testing. Oh, it's got a, uh, it's got one of those covers on it. You're going to just peel that off, yeah. So we'll peel that off. Touch screen display, brand new touch screen display. It's got still got the annoying connector on the back. So I'll have to pay attention to which... There's two connectors on the back. I think it's this one that we have to hook it up to, but I'll have to pay attention to which one it is. Pretty sure it's this one. When we take off the other one, so. All right, that's our next step. All right, so I got it unscrewed. You just take, there's four Phillips screws. You saw that movie from before. And it's got this back cover that the uh, cable goes through. And then take this out. Let's take a look at it. All right, so it's this one here. So I was wrong. It's this. Uh, I can't remember which one I said. Anyway, it's this one. So we're going to carefully pull this out. Not that, actually, getting it out isn't a problem. It's getting it back in. So it's held on. There's a little glue glue pad here that doesn't seem to be on the new one so maybe we'll try to transfer that over so pull this out straight so it comes out smoothly yeah all the pins seem okay so we'll try to transfer this little glue pad over to the new one right in here somewhere yeah just to the right of those contacts It'll help a little bit for strain relief. And now the hard part of getting this thing in. So let's see. The blue is to the outside. I mean, look, I remember that. We'll try to shove it in there. I might not show all of this because it takes too long. It's super annoying to get it back in there. Oh, there's a little thing, pull thing up. Oh, maybe that's my problem. Okay, there's a little, uh, is it on this one? Oh yeah, I didn't see that before. Uh -huh. So there's a little uh, lever arm that pulls up. So you pull the lever arm up, slide it in there, and push it down. It's like that's the way, I didn't see that before, obviously. Sure, it's all the way in there. Lever arm up. Yeah, shoot. It's so annoying. And then push it in and press down the lever. The lever doesn't really want to press very hard. Oh, now it's down. Is it in there? Yeah, okay. All right, that's why it was so hard before. Ha ha. All right, so let's look at this more closely. See if you can see this. So there's a lever arm here that presses up and down. That's why it was so hard to get it in there. So you just lay it in there and then squeeze this down on it and that holds it in place. Okay. Well, let's hope this works. I think I'll try it without screwing it in first to see if it works. Now, is that the right direction? Up, oh, came out already. Figures. All right, I'm gonna mess around with this some more, get it in there, and then I'll come back. All right, so I was sticking it in the wrong side. That figures too. So, lever arm up, stick it in this side. Jeez, stupid can you get? In this side. Right, I'll, I'll play with it some more, but you gotta stick it in from this bottom side. I wasn't paying attention. Figures. All right, I got it in there. I'm gonna show you the trick I used on the old one. So, this blue tape is very stiff, so you've gotta bend it like this, and then you can push it. This is like a right angle, and you can push it. So, this goes, you can see that little slot there goes in here and then you just push on it 
and then I got it most of the way in. If this was all the way out, it'd be a lot easier. So it went in pretty easily there. I got a, but it's just hanging here and it's very short. Then I, at the very end, I use these little uh, pliers to help push it in all the way. So if we look over here, it's all the way in now. So, all right. So we're going to try putting it in there. See what happens when we turn it on. That looks promising. All right. Looks like it's good as new. We're back in business. So we can go to tools. Oops. Tools. Manual. Lower the bed. Raise the bed. All right. Move the head. All right. Fixed it. Thumbs up from Beta Signi. And, uh, you know, obviously it's better if it hadn't broken, but I did get good support. It only took a day or two to tell them that I uh, tried plugging and unplugging the cable. And I, sh I sent them a picture of the of the display. The display used to show a little bit, but then by the end it was all completely dark all the time. And then within a few, uh, within actually just two days, they went ahead and sent out a new one. And uh, it's fixed. So I'm back in business. So if you like this video, please uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe. And this is Beta Signi signing out.